EA actually dropped promo cards and showed on SPCs and a lot of great content today. It's I'm kind of surprised at what EA have actually dropped today and very impressed and happy. I thought we'd get like just a stale week of Showdown SBCs, but we have a lot of content. So let's go dive into the Ceballos versus Molina Showdown SBC. We'll compare them to other players. You can see if they're good or bad value because you only have 21 hours to complete these cards. You want to know right away, should I do these cards, right? So let's dive in, see if these are good. And we're going to open this 85 plus player pick in this video as well to figure out if we can... If it's good value for you too. Okay, so there's a lot of content today, so let's not waste any time. Let's dive into it. So here is Nahu Molina. He's three star, three star, high, high work rates. If you don't know what showdown cards are, it means that Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid are playing a game against each other tomorrow. And whatever team wins the game, their card gets a plus two upgrade in every stat. If the game is a draw, both cards get a plus one. The team that loses gets zero upgrades on their card. Okay, so Nahu Molina, three star, three star. He's an 86 overall team with a team of the week and an 87 rated card within it. And that doesn't really matter because you'd probably put an 87 into an 86 anyways. That doesn't really change the price of the card a lot. Three star, three star, high, high work rates. He can play right mid and right wing back. He actually has a decent card, man. Uh, a couple key stats, like 88 aggression is fantastic. He has good pace splits, really nice balanced dribbling stats, and he's got good defending stats. So I like this card a little bit, and especially because a lot of people don't have good wing backs. I think... For the most part, if you're running a lot of league aside, your right back is almost always Carvajal. So would this card be worth it? Well, if he got a plus two, I think he'd be really worth it. He's coming in at 130K. If you look at Carvajal, who's obviously tradable on the market, is 140K. He's faster than Carvajal. He's got better dribbling. He's got better defending stats, same physical stats, and a little bit worse passing. The key here is, obviously, if Molina were to get a plus two, he would be significantly better value than Carvajal in terms of the comparable value of the cards. So for that reason... If you believe, you know, it's a, it's a gamble. This is gambling SBCs at their finest. If that Molina gets a plus two, he'll be a great value SBC. If he gets a plus one, he'll be a good value SBC. And at his base level, he's not bad. He's not a horrible value SBC. An anchor on him makes him a very usable wing back. I don't mind that SBC if you can clean it. I think it's the lower risk of the two SBCs. Then we have Danny Ceballos, who actually could be really good, Four star, four star, high, high work rates. I love the fact that you can play CDM, cam, and center mid. Very versatile on the card. Um, if you go look at the actual card stats, right? 87 stamina is not bad. 83 aggression is pretty decent. 80 strength is a little bit low. Really good dribbling stats. Just balance all the way throughout. Like no stat that's going to hurt you. Great passing stats. And not even bad shooting stats. It's the pace and the defending. So very quickly, I look at this card and identify that he would use a shadow, right? Boost that pace up significantly. Boost those defending stats. And he'd be just a really beautiful club 80, box-to-box -box midfielder at the end of the day. He's just more expensive. He's an 84 and an 86 back from this SBC. So he's going to be probably around like 190 to 200K. If we go jump over to Ceballos, and I'll refresh this to see if we can get a price point on him. So he's 170K, all right? Which, once again, if he got a plus two upgrade, really great card. Really worth it. Great value. Four-star, four-star with the Real Madrid links. Becomes a wonderful box-to-box -box in that team. So if you believe in Real Madrid and they win, it's not bad value. I do think he's the bigger risk because if Real Madrid do not win that game, not that his card is bad, but for all the midfield cards that exist in this game, all the club 80 midfield cards, he very instantly becomes just a card. He doesn't have the same, I think, long-term usability as this card, as a base card. So this is a bigger risk in my opinion, but if you believe Real Madrid are gonna win the game and they do, he'll be a great card. This one's more of a softer uh, risk, but they probably have a less chance of winning the game long-term. We have 80 plus player picks as our upgrade picks, which we did not expect to get. One rare player and eight in the squad. Um, by the way, if you're watching these videos, hit that like button, sub if you're new. We review the content every day on YouTube and on Twitter. So I appreciate the love that we've gotten on the channel recently. This is not bad value. Commons are really stacked up in a lot of people's clubs. One rare, and it gives you a crack at a one of two 80 plus player pick. We also have, before I get to 85 plus, we have a lot of like milestone content and everything too. Premium bronze upgrades are back. So if you do bronze upgrades now, you can get four silver players back. So if you're grinding League SBCs, this is really great value. These are out for 55 days. And the premium silver upgrade, if you put a bunch of common silvers in, you can get yourself five common gold instead of the typical three common golds from a regular upgrades. Let's go do this 85 plus player pick, right? So this is an 83 overall team with an 85 rated card. The 85 rated card is going to offset um, your cost of this pretty significantly. So we'll put a bombing in here and we'll go ahead and we'll just load in some 83s and some 80. We'll put an 84 in here because I don't have a lot of mid-tier fodder in my club. And I have to get rid of a 
couple cards to put Pope in here. Let's see if we can get this thing done. Might need to throw in one more 84 on my end. Okay, we'll just assume that that's okay. I probably could have dropped the price, but we're not here for that. So here we go. Uh, this is a one of 82. It looks like it says it's a pack, but then it says it's a, let me see. Is it a pack or is it a player pick? One of two 85 plus rare gold players, player picks. Open now or save for, what does that even mean? Hold on, I gotta get rid of this Casemiro. I'll do a quick sour card. What does that mean? One of two. Why is it a pack into, what the hell just happened? What was that? Why is it, why is it shipped that way? Okay, so for me, bad value, right? I put in a lot of cards and got back just Raheem Sterling, but it is a chance at a promo card. Wait, is, do I get a second one? Is it two for one? Then I have no idea why that just opened as a pack. That was very random. That was very, very random. I guess the idea, oh, okay, so the idea is that since it's a pack, right, and not a player pick, if you complete the SVC, you could technically save that for another promo. So it's a player pick that you're allowed to save and not, like, inhibit you from opening packs. That's actually kind of a cool idea in a really weird and kind of wacky way. Um, I've never seen that before from EA, but I respect it. It's, it's interesting and it's unique. We have an MLS player pick, which I'm going to go to show you the cards on Footbin. Score a goal. There's like just like a lot of stuff you need to do with MLS players um, in a live foot friendly MLS kickoff. And if you do them all, you get a choice of a player between Hani Mukhtar and Moments Tiago. Which if we go over to Footbin, we go to new players. There is Mukhtar. There is Tiago Martins. So Tiago Martins to me seems like really great value because he's a Brazilian center back with 84 pace and some really nice just balanced stats, right? And Brazilian links are just really easy to use in this game. You put a shadow on this card if I can find it. Crazy good pace bats. I'm going to get a phone call. We don't want that. Easy card, right? Beautiful little center back card. Crazy good defending, balanced dribbling. He would be a very usable center back even at this point in the game. How tall is he? He's got medium high work rates, which we love, and he's six foot tall. So that's a very usable center back that you can have in your team. Hani Mukhtar, a little bit harder to, to mix in because just German links. He's got five-star weak foot, which is great. Good pace splits. Really nice dribbling stats. Um, not Actually pretty good shooting stats. And 92 short pass isn't bad. That's actually not a bad card either. Both very usable cards. Both very usable cards with huge boosts from their base cards. Um, this is a card I'd probably put like a Hunter on and use him as a striker. He's got five-star weak foot and high medium work rates. I like that a lot. Um, you can get him in, a, in behind and really create with like another striker next to him and like a two striker formation. He should be like with the one that's able to build up the play because of the good passing stats, but also finish really well with those dribbling and pass. That's actually not a bad card either. I don't mind that. We'll pop back over here. We have one last thing to run you through a lot of content today. And we'll go check out that like new cards that are out in packs or old new cards that are in packs. If you just play a bunch of games in FIFA right now for the next 55 days, you get a bunch of team of the week and you know, different loans. Um, and at the very end, you get five 83 plus packs. This is one of those that you don't need to worry about. You just kind of do these, you'll get these loan cards, you'll probably never use them. And then one day you'll just like play a game, you'll get a milestone notice and you'll go, oh, hey, I have a five 83 plus pack and you'll be happy, right? This is just, it's just here and it's good content regardless. Let's go check out the cards that are in packs because this is actually really valuable to us, right? We want to know if we're opening packs during the next week, what cards can we really pack? What are the cards that we're chasing to get? And is this all the cards or is this just um, a sample of the cards? It's called like rivalry. So we have Gabby Jesus. Benzema is a huge card. That's like a 2 million coin midfielder. Anthony's one to watch. Holland's one to watch. Dybala's one to watch. Vedati Centurions is a big card as well. So there's actually a nice couple little cards out here. Moments. Um, I don't watch this. Kane. So there's all the content today, guys. I think it's great content. We'll be live later for our pack and play series um, in our weekend league. Hopefully we get some of these new cards that we can add to the team for this weekend league. Um, good luck to you guys in your pack openings. Good luck to you if you complete the showdown cards. We'll be doing videos every single day for the showdown SPCs telling you what is good and bad value. That Molina, I like a lot. That Ceballos, a little bigger of a risk for a good reward if Real Madrid win. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.